Hello and welcome to Hybrid Cloud Made Easy with Dell Technologies and Nutanix on theCUBE. As we all know too well, there's never a dull moment in the world of IT. Just look at how things have erupted with generative AI hitting the scene. We have seen that IT leaders are increasingly interested in having choices and flexibility when building up the stack that works best for their infrastructure modernization projects, modern app development efforts, AI integration initiatives, and so on. Things are dynamic as ever, particularly in the virtualization space. AI infrastructures need an easy button. People are really looking to understand how do they turn up these new infrastructures in a very concise and easy way. Cloud is really not a place, but an operating model. And it's spreading across all from edge, on-prem, co-location, and into the hyperscale cloud. Inference at the edge definitely needs a cloud operating model, and people are looking for that easy button for bringing inference all across their entire infrastructure. HCI offers a streamlined management experience by integrating compute, storage, and network into a single system. This reduces complexity of managing separate components and allows IT teams to focus on more strategic tasks at hand. Companies can rapidly deploy new applications and services without the need to integrate disparate systems, allowing for quicker response to changing business needs, as we've seen with generative AI. Storage and data workflows are evolving, and where data will be processed will continue to move around as new AI applications built in cloud-native and virtualized ways move closer to the consumer. In many ways, organizations will be bringing AI to the data where it lives in real time. Joining us today are two gentlemen from very well-known enterprise IT providers, Dell Technologies and Nutanix. They are both veterans of theCUBE and I want to welcome them back on because it's always a good experience to talk with them and get into the details. And they're going to share their perspectives and get into those details on some new collaborative developments that they've both been working on. Mm -hmm. They're both senior vice presidents of product management I have Travis V. Hill, who's at Dell, and Thomas Cornelly, who's at Nutanix. Welcome on board, guys. Thanks for having Rob. So, Thomas, can you talk a bit about what you're seeing and hearing from customers that are really interested in these types of solutions today, and what are the challenges that are bubbling up for them right now? Well, I mean, Rob, you started with saying that, look, there's a lot of change, right, in IT, and that's kind of the, you know, the constant, right? Um, at the top level, what we're seeing is customers just knowing, having an avalanche of new applications. You know, we're talking of three quarters of a billion applications, new applications coming on board over the next couple of years. So that's just a massive amount. Uh, we're seeing customers deal with the fact that they have to be ready for these applications, dealing with you know, modernizations, things running at the edge in the private cloud, you know, in public clouds, you know, having to think about Kubernetes, having to think about AI and how to make the, get value out of enterprise AI, right? So there's just a lot of different things going on. And those are all forward-looking. At the same time, we're seeing changes in the ecosystem. You know, we're seeing acquisitions disrupt existing environments and customers having to go and make adjustments to what that means for their install base, right? So all of that put together, just massive amount of pressure on customers to think in terms of being flexible, having options, and you know, having agility built in to the core infrastructure. So there's a lot in there to unpack because I, I think again, uh, as you said, things are changing to, to put it mildly. Uh, how, do you, how do you break that down? Where are you looking for a uh, potential solution perspective to help those customers? Well, I mean, if you think about all of these different patterns, right? What's going on with on-prem legacy? What's going on with you know, new applications, modern applications, cloud native applications, and AI? You know, all of that means potentially a lot of complexity that customers will have to go and deal with. And complexity is cost, it's risk. And so really when you look at this at Nutanix, when we talk to customers, the focus for us is to think along four key axes, four key pillars in terms of how you should think about your next steps. The first one is think in terms of platform and you know, a multi-cloud, hybrid multi-cloud platform. That's the whole foundation here is to have one environment get a consistent way of doing things wherever you're running, at the edge, in your core, or in public clouds. You know, we've been working on this for years uh, on our side. You know, Nutanix, as you said, is you know, rooted in hyperconverged, but we've been building the platform, adding compute. You know, more than 70% of our customers today in our install base 
are running our own built-in hypervisor, AHV. Right? So a lot of customers have gone with a full stack approach already, thinking of, look, if I get this full stack, I can benefit from the integration I get from this stack in terms of having portability and consistent op operations. So that's point number one, think in terms of a cloud platform. The second one is make sure you think in terms of having options for the future. It's not about optimizing for now only. Of course, you want to go and actually make decisions today, but what happens and what we see consistently now is what was the best location for an application today likely won't be three years down the road because somebody will get acquired, because your contract with a you know, hyperscaler will change. And we've seen this, you know, COVID was all cloud, cloud, cloud. And now customers are all about repatriation and thinking hybrid. The third one is, you know, how do you get to manage all these environments in a consistent fashion, right? And this is about going ahead at the potential complexity of dealing with all this and getting one control plane to go and actually get consistent ways to go and monitor applications, protect them, make them resilient. And last but not least in all this, right, is about being ready for the future. It's not about today. It's about this new crop of applications, those AI-enabled applications, those cloud-native applications, having a platform that supports your innovation for the future. And that's, again, something that is so core to what we've been doing here at Nutanix. This is also what brought us to working more closely with Dell. Yeah, I, I think, again, we're big fans of common platforms and open ecosystems, to put it mildly, and that certainly seems to be a winning approach for the long term. Like you said, investment protection. We're also seeing that in our data from ETR, our partner, that 50% of cloud-native applications are actually being built on-premise. Uh, so now, you know, turning to Travis, let's bring you in here and get your take on this. Yeah, my perspective here is, is really uh, well aligned with what Thomas just laid out. But uh, let me offer up a statistic that I think highlights some of his points. 90% of IT organizations say they're facing increasing complexity in their hybrid cloud environments. That means that nearly every organization out there has a hybrid strategy and they could also use some help to simplify things. So from our perspective, Customers need a modern data center that's smart, it has to be flexible, and it has to be resilient. And those last two, flexibility and resiliency, are top of mind for us at Dell Technologies because we're continuing to build out a virtualization portfolio that offers customers choice. And that includes the choice between a streamlined HCI appliance, running your preferred software stack, and as you know, HCI offers simplicity, efficiency, performance, and solutions that are built on a two-tier architecture that allow for compute and storage to scale independently and can offer even greater flexibility over the long term. Yeah, I, I hear some really interesting things in there. So, you know, given all of that, how are things evolving through your recent work with Thomas and the team at Nutanix? Well, we're adding even more options to our portfolio with two new joint solutions. Those solutions are going to be sold and delivered 100% through Dell. Let me talk uh, in a little detail about each of them. The first solution is Dell XE Plus. It is available now and adds to our existing XE family of HCI-based appliance for a simplified approach to hybrid cloud for our joint customers. Uh, Dell XE Plus is a suite of integrated turnkey hyperconverged appliances that combines Nutanix Cloud Platform software with Dell's portfolio of industry leading PowerEdge servers. We are also pre-announcing support for Dell PowerFlex with Nutanix Cloud Platform. This is, I think is gonna be a very powerful combination that will provide customers with a flexible approach that includes bare metal, hypervisors, Kubernetes, Kubernetes distributions and more. It's going to be initially available through a tech preview at the end of this year with general availability planned for the first half of next year. Now, I want to talk just in a little bit more detail about them. The first one, Dell XC Plus, this is really hybrid cloud made easy. Here, we're leading with simplicity, we're streamlining operations and optimizing performance. PowerEdge servers are designed with customer outcomes in mind. We start with the workload and then design the servers from the ground up to meet the unique requirements of that workload and deliver the right combination of technologies to deliver that outcome. The PowerEdge hardware that XC Plus is built on is available in a number of configurations that best meet the requirements of a range of applications, some of which Thomas mentioned, AIML, databases, modern apps, cloud native, you name it. Now, Dell PowerFlex with Nutanix Cloud 
platform, on the other hand, enables customers really to unlock their storage and solves for virtualization flexibility. It provides a uh, high scale across anywhere that your applications will run. And with it, you'll get a single, single interface for hardware management, the ability to run your choice of hypervisor, the openness and flexibility to run a variety of ecosystems on a consolidated infrastructure solution and support for private and public cloud deployments. And of course, the security and resiliency built in to protect your data and your applications at every level. Yeah, I, I think that's actually a really good segue, Travis, to uh, back you know, to Thomas here in the Nutanix cloud platform has really a dedicated and growing user base for, you know, it has been for some time now. And I think that Thomas, could you run down some of what Nutanix's stack offers? Absolutely. I mean, when you look at the cloud platform at Nutanix, you know, for us, it's about delivering one platform to run all your apps and data anywhere. You know, that's been kind of a driving motion for us in terms of innovation and go to market. Now, what we deliver effectively is software-defined infrastructure that gives you virtual storage, virtual compute. As I mentioned, you know, 70% of our customers are running our own hypervisor, AHV, and that's a big draw here. You know, virtual networking, and then complement that infrastructure stack with the built-in automation from cloud management. Things around built-in operations, you know, capacity planning, uh, automated remediation, self-service portals coming built in with the whole solution, you know, cost governance, security governance. So that put together is what is the Nutanix Cloud Platform. Okay, so you get an environment here that is consistent that you can basically deploy and run all your applications at the edge in small environments, in your data center at very large scale, or natively in public clouds. That, in a nutshell, is, is the key thing. You get three key benefits out of this. So the first one, as Travis was mentioning earlier, is about operational simplicity, right? You have one software different infrastructure that allows us to automate a lot of the tedious work normally involved with just running infrastructure, right? And once you get this software doing the work for you, what you get a second benefit, which is better security and better resilience. Because very often, what affects security and, and availability is, you know, human errors. And you take those out by having the software self-monitor, self-correct, and keep things up to date. And the last benefit here in terms of the work we've done historically is make sure that, you know, customers can actually run the most high performance applications on the cloud platform. That's been driving a lot of our investments, but doing this in a way that gives you choice and simplicity. So customers can go and take this software and run it on their choice of server hardware. And this is really here what we've been extending here working with Dell is not only simplify how you get to procure those solutions, but also extend the reach of the cloud platform by allowing customers to go and complement their PowerFlex environments with the Nutanix cloud platform. Yeah, and I think again, this is really exciting because when you start to look at how customers are really trying to understand and do that across their entire cloud operating model, it's huge. But one of the things that, I, and I don't want to bury a really good point here, which is that you know PowerFlex, right? And that PowerFlex point and Nutanix offering native integration for Dell storage is, is a pretty big deal. And correct me if I'm wrong here, but this is new territory for you, isn't it, Thomas? It absolutely is. Um, and, you know, and the best way for me to think about this is if you look back at the history of the, the company, Nutanix, and the long history we've had with Dell as a partner, going you know, more than 10 years now. Back in the day, Nutanix was an appliance vendor. The first time we actually went into doing software with partners was with Dell. You know, with Dell doing the XE appliance at the time, using Nutanix software on Dell servers. So in my mind, it's only logical that as we continue to extend the reach of our products and obviously add support for what we refer to generally as you know, IP-based external storage, we would do it with Dell and with Dell PowerFlex. Okay, so this is a big deal. It's a statement of direction for us. It also shows the partnership we've had in terms of innovation, working closely with Travis and, and his teams. Right? And it's, again, a continuation of our involvement in terms of getting increasing the reach of what Nutanix can do for customers, you know, particularly as they're looking now at hey, what do they do next, given what's going on with legacy environments and what they need to do for those new applications, container-based applications and AI-based applications. So it's a, it's a brand new thing. Again, PowerFlex is the first that we'll be supporting as a IP-based external storage. To be clear, it won't be the last. There's going to be more. Yeah. Right, Travis? We're working on other yeah, things. Yeah, look, uh, we're, we're, like you and I talked, Thomas, 
we're, we're open to expanding the partnership with uh, all of Dell's IP-based storage, PowerFlex, PowerStore, what have you. So there's, there's going to be more, right? We're not stopping there. But the whole idea here, it's an evolution of the architecture, right? We evolved from appliance to software. We made this software portable across all servers, across all clouds. And we're now extending the reach of the software to existing environments that are combining compute on one side and storage on the other, IP-based storage on the other. And, and, and Thomas, I think there's a couple of really interesting benefits at play with PowerFlex in this offering that's coming out in the near future. You know, uh, when I think about it, uh, customers that are, are moving to a Nutanix software solution with natively integrated PowerFlex storage really solves um, uh, an issue that, that I've heard customers uh, ask us a lot uh, in our conversations, which is the ability to independently scale compute and storage resource. And that really unlocks flexibility for performance and scale. You can add more nodes to your storage deployment. That means you can add both capacity and performance, and that's predictable linear scaling for your storage. And then second, uh, I think it's important to, to mention that this is natively integrated into the Nutanix environment. So this isn't just a collaboration. This isn't just about you know, providing support for PowerFlex. We're talking about native integration with Nutanix Cloud Platform software that comes with the high performance that Dell PowerFlex has to offer. But it also means that all of the storage feature that, features that Nutanix is bringing to the table are going to be there for customers to use with PowerFlex. I think that's really powerful. I think that's a great point, by the way, Travis, and thank you for pointing that out. You know, end of the day, it's about integration of the entire stack, the entire ecosystem with PowerFlex. So you get all the benefits in terms of simplicity, operational efficiency that we've been delivering for customers historically now in a PowerFlex environment. Yeah, I think it's great because I, I think, again, you have the Dell XC Plus where you're offering up proven power edge technology right there alongside the centralized control plane, automation, and distributed architecture, all the things that Nutanix brings to the table. And you have Nutanix software with PowerFlex as an option for even more scale and flexibility because I've heard the same things about, you know, people don't want to have to scale everything all at the same time necessarily. So this is huge. I, I mean, like really huge. Uh, is the idea that the customers can start simple with the XC Plus if what they're you know, really after is streamlined HCI solutions, and then there's a path to performance and flexibility with PowerFlex at scale? Yeah, Rob, that's definitely one path we think customers could and probably will take. You know, If they're already using Nutanix ecosystem or if they're looking to go there, they're going to have options across both XC Plus and PowerFlex, whether they need the simplicity of XE Plus today with the option in the future to leverage their software investment and expertise with Nutanix, but also adopt the flexibility and scale of PowerFlex at a later time, or they're ready now to shift their strategies towards uh, the integrated architecture of the Nutanix platform with PowerFlex to provide an open and scalable solution that can handle the complexity and scale of major enterprise use cases and we really believe that this flexibility uh, in a time of major change that you mentioned at the beginning of this, uh, of this webcast is going to be really valuable for, for our customers and for their data centers. Uh, I, I think so. I think when you look at it, there's more data than ever uh, coming into these applications and especially where it's being deployed out at the edge, in colo, all over the place on-prem, uh, not just in clouds. And I, I think that, but they need that cloud operating model that is that control plane and the scale. I, I think it's awesome. Uh, so, you know, let's kind of bring this all back around and wrap it up here. So some parting words, Thomas, uh, let's start with you. Well, I mean, you know, this is a big deal, right? It's a big announcement. Again, going back in terms of a long running partnership with Dell. Um, two key things, new appliance around XC+, Plus, around this extension of the reach of the Nintendo Cloud Platform. Now working with Dell PowerFlex is what we're working through. But really, kind of to bring it all together, it's about giving customers options and making it very simple for them to go and activate those options, right? The key point of this partnership is also having Dell be able to go and deliver hardware and software directly to customers, right? And customers being able to go and procure the entire solutions, whether it's an XT Plus appliance or a combination of cloud platform with PowerFlex directly from Dell. Yeah, I, I, I can see the customers you know, clapping already and being very excited about this, to, to put it mildly. So Travis, what about you, some final, final thoughts? 
we are so happy to be able to offer uh, this broader portfolio of virtualization and storage solutions to our customers. And working with Thomas and team and everybody over at Nutanix has just been an absolute pleasure. So I'm uh, very excited to see what our customers do with XC Plus and PowerFlex with Nutanix Cloud Platform. And I look forward to working with the Nutanix team to bring even more Dell IP-based storage that Thomas mentioned uh, earlier, things like PowerStore to this collaboration. I really can't wait to see what customers do and to come back here and tell you all about it. Yeah, we can't either, and we'll be tracking it from the Cube Research perspective. We think this is huge, uh, definitely a game changer. And I want to thank you both for coming on board. This has been great, and really can't wait to have you back on again uh, next time. So thank you. All right, thank you. Thank you. And thank you for watching this episode of Hybrid Cloud Made Easy with Dell Technologies and Nutanix. Thank you for sticking in here and watching it on theCUBE, the leader in high-tech analysis and news. Thanks, stay tuned.